INEC extends deadline for PVC collection. Don't hand over Nigeria so people can stand for 30 minutes, Peter Obi. Nigeria cannot continue borrowing no one. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has extended the deadline of the time frame for collection of the permanent voters' cards PVCs. Recall that the Commission had earlier said January 22 as a deadline for the PVC collection, which commenced on December 12, 2022. However, in a statement by the National Commission and Chairman Information and Voter Education Committee of INEC, Festus Okoye on Thursday, January 12, 2023, the electoral umpire announced the one-week extension of the exercise. The decision was taken after the Commission's regular meeting where the ongoing collection of the PVCs and other issues were deliberated upon. Okoye explained that INEC was encouraged to move the deadline to January 29, 2023, following the impressive turnout of registered voters and the surge in the number of collected PVCs across the country. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, has urged Nigerians not to hand over the administration of the country to people who are physically unfit to lead the country. Obi said the country is sick and should not be handed over to a sick person. Speaking at his alma mater at the University of Nigeria, Onsu Kainugo State, on Thursday, January 12, 2023, Peter Obi urged Nigerians not to vote for any presidential candidate who cannot stand for 30 minutes. In his speech, Obi also took a dig at Bola Mechinobu, who is the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, saying it's important not to vote for someone whose real age, name, and schoolmates are unknown. He therefore advised Nigerians to look out for character and trust in the 2023 general elections to avoid plunging the country into further mess. The Senate President Ahmad Lawan has revealed that the upper legislative chamber wrote on the eat on various revenue generating agencies for adequate revenue to fund the implementation of the 21.8 trillion Naira 2023 budget. Lawan made this known in Abuja during his 64th birthday celebration, where he emphasized that it would no longer be business as usual for the various revenue generating agencies in the country as the government could no longer continue to borrow to fund the budget. He also noted that aside from the problem of insecurity, which was being fought headlong by government at various levels, the lack of insufficient revenue for the execution of national development programs was another challenge that must be seriously tackled if the cycle of deficit budgets and insistent borrowings must stop. The Senate President said the move became imperative due to leakages and loopholes in tax collection and remittances to the government and mid revenue shortfalls and high debt profile in the country. He also added that the government would review the processes of granting corporate tax holidays, import duty waivers and concessions to investors and businesses in the federal government. Here are the headlines again. INEC extends deadline for PVC collection. Don't hand over Nigeria to people who can't stand for 30 minutes, Peter Obi. Nigeria cannot continue borrowing, Lawan. Thank you for staying tuned. I am Odele Kemofi, follower.